Hey, what's up everybody? Enan here from UDroid Mania, and today I've got seven must-have accessories for your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, so let's not waste any time and get right to it. First up, we've got the Samsung Fast Charge Wireless Stand. Let me just say from the beginning that this isn't going to be a full review video. If you guys want that, leave this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below. I actually have a couple of these. I keep one on my nightstand and one in the office. This way, no matter where I go, I don't have to worry about plugging in my phone. I can just sit it down on the wireless charger. For me, this is more about the convenience, knowing that no matter what room I walk in, I sit my phone down and it's automatically charging, and I like that. If you're on a budget, I'd say go with the wireless charging pad by Samsung. You can get that now for half the price. Yes, it's two years old and it charges a little slower, mind you. It's about the convenience and being able to just get that quick top off for your phone. And for the budget-minded, I've got this TechMat wireless charging pad. I actually purchased this to keep on my desk at work just in case it, you know, one day came up missing or something like that. But this one's actually a pretty good one. It comes in at about 19 bucks. One thing I'll say here is that this one charges really slow, so that's something to keep in mind. In the office, I'm at my desk for a number of hours during the workday, so for me, it doesn't matter if this charge is slow, but it's something good to have so I don't have to deal with the cords and things like that. Next up, I've got my encased charging dock, and this I actually keep in my home office on my desk. You guys have seen this in videos before and you always ask about it, so I figured I'd show you. I hadn't done a review on any of these, but again, if you're interested in a full review, just leave that down in the comments below to let me know. As Type-C becomes more of a standard for our Android devices, I figured I should get a charging dock that supports that. I like this dock because it supports cases, as well as having several degrees of motion, so if your case is on the thicker side, it'll still work with this dock. It's got a wheel on the back which allows you to extend the actual Type-C connector so that it actually reaches up and connects to the phone through your case. That's a feature that had drawn me to this dock because if I have a case on my phone, sometimes I do, I don't want to have to worry about removing the case before I could actually plug the phone into my dock. So that was something that I was looking for which is why I chose this one. If you're interested, the link is down below, so go and check it out. Next up, I've got a 4000 milliamp hour portable charger. And the reason that I have this is because sometimes I end up traveling for work, and when I do, I just throw this in my bag just to have a little bit of extra juice in case I need it. I don't always need it, but it's nice to know that it's there for security if I do. Next up, I've got a wireless charging car mount by Zero Edge. Now, this particular car mount is one of my favorites. I purchased it specifically so that when I got my S8 and S8 Plus, I wouldn't have to worry about charging it while I'm in the car and running the cable and all of those types of things. I'm a little bit obsessive when it comes to keeping my phone charged. I never really like for it to get into the red. So when I'm driving and I'm docking my phone, this allows me to charge while I'm on the go. I figure while the phone's at rest, I can be charging it. I like the fact that this car mount supports both large and small phones. It's got a fully adjustable cradle that you set your phone in. If you don't necessarily like having your phone on the dash, it also comes with a vent mount included in the packaging. So you can dock the phone there and again, have it charge wirelessly while you're on the go. And this is something for me that's perfect and I highly recommend it. One thing to note is that because this is a wireless charger, there's gonna be a power cable that runs from it down to either your USB connection in your car or into your cigarette lighter. And they do give you an adapter should you need it so that you can plug it in for power. This is something to note in case you don't like seeing cables in your car. Next up, I've got the IoT Easy Car Mount. This one doesn't support wireless charging, but it's got a few features that I like. It's fully adjustable. It's got a 360 degree rotation with it. So this is pretty good in terms of rotating the phone from landscape to portrait. It allows you to be hands-free in your car, which is something that I think is very important these days if you're driving. Um, no more keeping your phone on your lap or sitting it in the cup holder or any of those kinds of things. You can just dock it in the cradle and you're good to go. With this particular mount, I found that it's best if you attach it to the windshield in your car. I've had no issues in terms of phones that actually fit in here. I used it with my Note 5, my V20, my Xiaomi Mi Mix. It supports a wide variety of phones, so if you're interested in this one, you're not going to have any issues. The links are down below, so go and check it out. Next up, so you guys should have known this was coming if you're a fan of the channel. Of course, you got to get yourself a great case. So I'll say right from the beginning that there's not a lot of times where I open up a case and as soon as I get it out that I know right away this is a case that I really like. Well, that's what happened with Scotty. This case feels great in the hand. It's really light, thin, and sleek. I don't have to worry about dropping the phone. And I know this isn't a full review right now, so I'm just gonna say that if you're interested, I'll link this case up down below. So go and check them out. 
Next, I'll just say that I've been getting into Bluetooth speakers lately, and I really like this one by JBL. As you probably can tell, I love listening to music. It's something that I do all the time, so having a great speaker is a must. The link for this one is down below. It's kind of pricey, so I'm going to link up a few others as well. Go and check them out. Okay, so there you guys have it. Now I know I said seven must-have accessories for your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, and the seventh accessory is, of course, a tempered glass screen protector. And you guys know that we've just started to get into those reviews on the channel. I'll link up a couple of top contenders down below so that you guys can go and check those out. A tempered glass screen protector is a must-have for your Galaxy S8 or S8 Plus, so I suggest you guys go and get one. And before I let you guys go, I just wanted to take a moment and say thank you to all the people that have been letting me know that someone's stealing my videos. I was planning on doing two videos today, but since this keeps on happening, I think I need to go and deal with it. So I'm going to try and do a little of that today. Again, so thank you guys for letting me know. And don't go watch those videos, by the way. Make sure that you stay here on the channel and watch them here. If you've enjoyed this video, do leave a big thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, now would be the time to go ahead and click that subscribe button for more content like this. Welcome to the channel. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching on Udroid Mania, and I'll talk to you in my next one.